Hello and welcome to another episode. I've got another story to share with you guys. And in today's episode, we're going to look at the Robert Charles rights. Now, Robert Charles came to New Orleans from Mississippi and was a self-educated and articulate activist. He believed in self-defense for African Americans and encouraged African Americans to migrate from the United States over to Liberia. On July the 23rd, 1900, police approached Robert Charles and his roommate sitting on the steps of 28115 Dryad Street. After some police harassment, Charles and his partner drew their guns and had a confrontation with the officer and shots were fired on both sides. Both sides were wounded, and however Charles was able to escape and went into hiding at his apartment in 2023 Ford Street. When police arrived next morning, Charles shot and killed two officers before escaping again. In retaliation for Charles' attack on the officers, white mobs took to the streets and attacked and killed random African Americans. At least 20 African Americans had been murdered and a further two African American schools were burnt. Some African Americans assisted Charles while others were sympathetic. On July the 27th, Charles was found to be hiding on 2208 Zagota Street. Volunteers went inside the house and set fire to it and to try and smoke out Charles. When he came out, he was shot from all sides. His body was taken and dragged through the streets. Charles was hailed as a folk hero by many in the black community and a song called Ballad of Robert Charles was written about him. By the end of the week, Charles had shot a total of 27 whites, killing seven, including four officers. Many more people were killed and wounded in the riots as a result. Hello and thank you for listening to the story. If you've got any other stories you'd like me to cover, please drop it down into the description below. But thank you for listening and I'll see you guys next time.